good morning. Let me uh, introduce myself. I am uh, Dr. Shyam Vishwanath. Uh, I am uh, a retired uh, forestry scientist. I have uh, worked in the Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education based in Dehradun uh, for, uh, for 31 years and I have worked in various uh, research institutes of ICFRA across the country. Uh, from 2018 June to September uh, 2023, I had the opportunity of uh, serving as director of Kerala Forest Research Institute. Uh, PG. Uh, my experience in forestry research has been concentrated mainly on traditional agroforestry systems, bamboo and sandalwood. But bamboo has always had a special place in my heart. Uh, I started my journey in the world of bamboo in 2006-8 uh, period and uh, I have executed at least 10 projects on bamboo from DST, DBT, uh, National Bamboo Mission, National Mission on Bamboo Application and uh, uh, I have published more than 40 uh, to 50 research papers, 10 books on bamboo uh, besides guiding uh, 10 research scholars uh, on, on bamboo related aspects. Uh, in KFRA, my stint in KFRA also gave me an opportunity to work on a totally different world of bamboo. Uh, tropical bamboo species uh, so we I was uh, involved in uh, stream bank stabilization programs using uh, bamboo then also uh, we had worked quite a bit on bamboo shoots in KFRI so that was also an experience for me uh, now after so many years after retirement uh, I was uh, wondering what I should do now uh, I have this, uh, the, currently the land that we are standing now, this is in uh, called Vanasri Farms. Uh, it has been uh, in my possession since 2005. So in 2010, I built a boundary wall around this. Then initially, uh, I had given this land on contract for grass cultivation. Uh, in 2010, when I did my ba the boundary of this land, uh, this was a hill slope actually. So uh, I was seeing that a lot of soil erosion was happening with the rain during the rainy season. The soil is getting washed away. Uh, I, first thing that struck me was that somehow we need to conserve the soil. So uh, I went in for along the contour. I made terraces, and on the boundary of the, the terraces uh, I planted trees at that time bamboo is not in the picture uh, so various horticulture species I tried out mango uh, gooseberry and all that uh, but being uh, but I was not able to manage it intensively because nobody was staying here I left it like that so that ended up in a big failure so all horticulture species that I tried out because of lack of uh, management and uh, intensive care uh, since 2022, I decided, okay, uh, maybe I have been talking and preaching about bamboo throughout my career. Maybe I should uh, establish a bamboo plantation and show that, okay, commercial cultivation of bamboo is possible in this land. Now, remember in Palakkad, this land, uh, this is typical uh, of some of the plants that you find in Palakkad, where uh, natural woody. Uh, trees like teak, uh, terminalia, uh, then Tyrocarpus marsupium, uh, Bombax seba, these are the native species that you find here. Uh, basically dry deciduous or moist deciduous species. So, and the soil is not very fertile. Uh, it is not, uh, so it, it may be suited for horticulture crops like uh, gooseberry for example or mango also if it is managed well uh, through drip irrigation, there is the possibility. So, uh, in this landscape, uh, what happens is that you have a long summer month. So, nearly six to five to six months is totally dry. You don't get a drop of rainfall, and it is also fire prone at that time, uh, especially in April and May. So, uh, I had to think of some species that could come up in this area. So, the first thing that I decided was that after developing this uh, land along the uh, with buns along contour lines uh, then 
from that point onwards uh, soil i could reduce uh, the loss of the top soil during rainy season by at least 90% uh, very little soil i mean uh, runoff was happening all the uh, rain that uh, that fell in this piece of land was uh, through soil conservation measures it was trapped here and uh, uh, maybe it helped in the recharge also so this area i have a bore well that i use it for mainly drinking purpose and some irrigation occasionally during summer months uh, some of the horticulture species i have again replanted mango gooseberry uh, jamun and uh, those species that i use it for irrigation bamboo i have so far not irrigated i established in uh, 2022 june i dug up uh, using jcb 1 cubic meter pits and i planted seven species of bamboo uh, that you find in the landscape that includes dendroclamus strictus bamboo balcova uh, cacharensis bamboo polymorpha then dendroclamus toxa is also there uh, so thysostachys olivari so these species i have planted uh, there are besides that st uh, stocksy is also there brandisi is also there asper is there one or two clumps uh, but mainly uh, dendroclamus strictus balcova olivari cacharensis and polymorpha these are the main species uh, now i have planted and it is nearly 2 years because that uh, i had taken uh, care for the pit size and other soil conditions 99% uh, survival is there for the bamboo uh, i have two uh, grazing animals um, cows uh, mainly for the cow dung uh, but they sometimes they can be a nuisance also they when i tie them uh, I, I leave it out for grazing they feed on the bamboo also that's why some of the uh, bushes are some of the bamboo clumps are looking like bushes because of the feeding by cattle uh, but that's okay uh, new shoots will come up it is established but the main problem here is that sometimes you get uh, attack of uh, uh, there are uh, this porcupines and bear, uh, and uh, wild boars so they come and uh, feed on the emerging shoots that also now I have tackled to a certain extent but during the monsoon season uh, a farmer a bamboo farmer should take care to protect the new shoots by putting a net or something like some deterrent and also see whether there are any uh, uh, holes or uh, resting places for this uh, porcupine and uh, your wild boar so those things need to be taken care of uh, otherwise uh, this could be uh, bamboo cultivation in this area in Palakkad in dry conditions, rain-fed conditions, uh, could be a successful venture as an alternate land use.